Hey everybody, Did really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Vore Commons. Well, it's not really an episode, we're going through the gallery today. The thing is, with the gallery, and this is pretty cool, each, well not each of the pictures, you can see some of the pictures have that little Norn symbol on them, and those ones are ones where when you click on the picture, let me show you, you get these little touch spots, and when you touch them, you get to hear these lines that they were thinking during the scene, but you know, they weren't actually saying, they were just their thoughts. So I'm gonna go through and read these to you today. And I can't imagine this will be more than one video, but you never know. Alright, so yeah, we're starting with Kaku's gallery right here. Yuika, I was only kidding, but I couldn't do it as well as you would have. I'm used to telling people things, and I was confident I'd be able to deal with anything people told me. But, you're the first one who ever made me blush. This was right after that scene where, um, where, um, Koharu was, like, inviting Kakeru to the bath. Did I grab you by the arm too roughly? I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. And this one, when was this one? Oh yeah, another thing to sh I wanted to show you guys is that um, you, you see at the very bottom there, it has the, uh, controls. You can do the triangle button to replay the scene that the, that the picture is from. But I'm not going to do that because, you know, I've already read the whole game, so I don't really want to reread the scenes. I'm just going to be going through the pictures and I, I might not remember where all of them were, so I'm sorry about that. Like this one, I'm not completely sure when this picture was. I was surprised when you suddenly held me, but I was so happy when you told me I wasn't alone. Me. You must have been surprised, because I just grabbed a hold of you and held you tight out of the blue. I'm not letting you go though. This is exactly what I want to do to you now. I couldn't stay sane while seeing you smile. It's the same as watching a flower bloom. This might sound somewhat vulgar, but I just acted on my urges. Don't get too close to me or touch me, or you might catch something. You should stay away from me. I'm also sweating. This was when Kakeru was sick. I've never seen him in such agony. I was just desperate to do something to help Yuiga. I don't like people seeing me when I'm weak, but it made me so happy when I found you next to me when I woke up. It's the truth. And... Well, yeah, this one has nothing to say, but this is the one where, um, that was during the dream when Kakeru was the poison apple, and she still accepted him. And this was when, when Koharu was defending, she finally released her fire to protect everyone, I think. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what was happening here, but I'm guessing... This was after she used her powers, and he said it's okay, you know, we all still care about you. Your fire will not harm anyone. Please don't say we shouldn't be together. I'd be lost without you now. I apologize for being so forward, but you wouldn't have seen me otherwise, would you? I would do anything to see you. I ran away because I was afraid I had become all alone again when everybody learned about my power. And that was after Kakeru had been shot, although we have no word bubbles for that one. And that was when Kakeru was subduing Ron. No word bubbles for that one either? Nope. And that was when Koharu was stopping him. Koharu was stopping Kakeru. Yaika said he'd protect me. I want to protect him, even if it means I have to risk my life. That's how important he is to me. I wanted to protect him, just like she was trying to protect Mr. Ron. You were the one who stopped me. I knew your fire was there to protect people, not to harm them. Everything was fine, so long as I followed what my father told me. I didn't have to think, struggle, or doubt anything until I met you. The emotions I'm feeling are what you gave me. I really want word bubbles for this one. I would love to hear some stuff about them on the screen, but there's nothing. 
Oh, there's nothing extra on these ones? Nope, that was the bad ending when uh, Kakadu actually was still under uh, Shiro's brainwashing, so he didn't care about her really. And this was in the extra when he helped her find the four-leaf clover. Alright, so let's see. Now let's do Senri here. I didn't realize I had fallen asleep. I'm sorry that I caused you trouble. Your touch relaxes me somewhat. Didn't being next to a man make you nervous? You said nothing good would come about if I stayed with you then. Please, don't stare at me so hard. I'm getting embarrassed. Kakilu or Toya would have been able to carry this themselves instead of causing you trouble. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the last one was uh, when Koharu invited Senri into her room to... Everybody was trying to bother him, so she was like letting him stay in her room so he could uh, have some quiet time. And then she ended up taking a nap with him. And this was when uh, these two had had to take care of all the vegetable collecting by themselves. And this was when uh, Masamune was praising her for that. Default X display. Okay, there we go. I, pu I push X so I can see the other screens. I guess I missed some of those on um, Kakiru's because some of them have several different versions. This one? Okay, this one did have a couple different versions too. This was uh, during the dream sequence where uh, Koharu was Snow White. It's not an illusion. I'm right here. I'm ashamed of myself for not being able to do anything other than watch you cry. The Hyoko back then was Mr. Senri? I had no idea. It was very adorable. And still during the dream sequence. Are you curious about these wings? You can go ahead and touch them if you'd like. I'm so happy to hear you say that you like me. It was a dream come true. Being able to fly with you and your wings. And I don't remember what was happening here exactly, but like, I think she had kind of been trying to avoid him a little bit, and he finally caught up to her. And he kissed her. I think maybe she was confused about things or something, I don't know. But Senri, it's, it was cool that Senri actually took the initiative, like, he stopped being shy and stuff, and he became a man. Oh god, why is my memory so horrible? I can't remember exactly what was happening here either. I made Mr. Senri cry. I'm sorry that I made you worried. Do you have any idea how worried I was about you after you went missing? Please keep patting me. I need your touch to keep me calm right now. And this was after... I think Kohoro had used her power. I can't remember. Oh, why is my memory so horrible? I'm sorry. I can't remember exactly what was happening. But she asked to be alone. She has to be alone, so Senri left her for a little while, and that, that's him walking away. And then Shiro came. Shiro looks awfully cute there. And Shiro took her away. And this was when Senri stopped her from going and destroying a whole city or something like that. I have no stamina, and I'm not outgoing at all. I may also be physically weaker than you, but... I'm sorry. You'll get a cold if we stay out here any longer. Let's go back to the ship where everyone else is. It still makes me frightened to think about what could have happened if you didn't come then. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> She's giving him this really funny face. <laughs> and he gave her the little bunny. I used to want to be all by myself, but lately, I found it far more comforting to be alone with someone else. Ah. <sighs> It feels so good when you stroke my hair like that. I could fall asleep right now. I still have the wooden bunny you carved for me. It is a treasure of mine that is imbued with your memory. And then we can look at these, but these have no text, apparently. This was Senri's bad ending, where uh, him and Koharu both went with Shiro and got kept in a cage. And this was during his extra. Masamune's. When Masamune was tutoring Koharu. Because you're such an eager learner, I'm having a lot of fun teaching you. It's quite satisfying. Hmm? What's the matter? You look like you've got something on your mind. I was mesmerized when I saw you wearing your glasses. You looked so different. But I like that look for you as well. And this was after 
Masamune was drunk on the uh, cookies, the sugar from the cookies. And he kissed her. Mm. Are you asking for more? Then I'll have to grant your wish. Just stay relaxed. I love that look, that one gloved hand in her hair. Looking at you, the feelings I've been holding inside started to slowly well up, and... Mr. Masamune wasn't his usual gentle self at that time, so I have to admit I was slightly afraid. And this was during the dream sequence when she was Snow White and he was the prince. I had no idea that my apologies to you caused you so much pain. I'm sorry I didn't realize that sooner. And there he goes apologizing again. This is the only time I can hold you. So let's make this last a little longer. I realized that you went through the same agony every time you called me a good girl, and I called you a good person. <laughs> this was my favorite moment in the entire game. It was this uh, dead end <laughs> where uh, we went into the guy's room at night even though we weren't supposed to, and we were warned several times, but we still went anyway. <laughs> And Masamune showed up and thought that they were being a little licentious towards Koharu. And he ended up, uh... <clears throat> the two guys were never seen or heard from ever again. And I think you know what that means. I mean, some people say that they just got beat up, but mm, if nobody ever heard or saw from them again, I think he buried them on the Norn somewhere. Oh, I really wanted wear bubbles for that one, but there's nothing. <laughs> and this was when they were relaxing in the room together. Wait, did I not have... Look at that smile. I... I don't know if I can control myself any longer. Tell me, what do you want to do? And what do you want me to do? <laughs> I wouldn't mind having him ask me that. When you stroke me like that, it makes me feel as if I'm wrapped in warmth. It makes me feel... safe. Although, it was only for a little while. I was so happy just being with him like this. I love this picture too. Both of these guys look great in this picture. And that was sweet too, him kissing her hand. And this was when he was helping her calm down her fire, after she had been in battle. I'm sorry! I couldn't control my own power! I can't believe I put you through such danger for my sake! I'm frustrated with myself for allowing things to get to this point. I should have put a stop to things before they got this bad. Yeah, you really should have. Don't worry. I'm fine, so... Please, stop crying. I was really surprised he did let things get that far in that storyline. And this was his good ending. Uh, well, they were still... Itsuki put her in a dream for a while. Well, they were going to find a place to hide, so... This was all she was still in that dream. I'm sorry for putting you through so much pain. To be honest, I don't remember much about what happened then. What? Do you want me to kiss you or something? If you insist. Every inch of me belongs to you now, after all. <sighs> also his good ending. While they were hiding out with Natsuiko. Time passes by so slowly and peacefully with you lying next to me. I hope this happiness will last forever. I finally become able to reciprocate your affection. You are more than welcome to lean on me anytime you'd like. I'm so happy! that we get to enjoy each other's company every day like this. And that was his bad ending when uh, Koharu was comforting Mikoto because Sakuya is dead and Masamune was just lamenting the fact that he was powerless to do anything to help Koharu because he decided to stick with his obligation to the world for this bad ending. And this was the extra when uh, he purposely got himself drunk on cookies as an excuse to be able to embrace her. Alright, now we go to Natsuiko's gallery. 
This was when uh, Ron had pushed her off of the ship, and she fainted, I guess, so... But Natsuiko caught her. Luckily, he was on time, and Ron didn't push her too soon. Natsuiko looks so hot there, though. I love this picture of him. I really didn't think you'd be falling from the sky. And when you're silent, you look quite beautiful. That's supposed to be a compliment, by the way. <laughs> Ron may have been the one who pushed me off the ship, but I am still angry at you for what happened then. And this was when uh, he had first kidnapped her, and I don't know what would have happened if I chose the other thing, but in this one, he asked if um, he should feed her mouth to mouth, or if he should spoon feed her or something like that, and she was being sarcastic, and she was like, mouth to mouth. But if you try anything fresh, I'll bite your tongue off. And then he's like doing this, and he's like, go ahead, bite my tongue off. I am not a criminal, do you understand? I refuse to be handcuffed ever again. Stop touching me. I'm ticklish there. <laughs> That's what he was thinking during this. Usually, girls that are high maintenance annoy me. But for some reason, I don't mind your feistiness. This may be the first time I've seen you behaving so obediently. I am really thankful you made me that Hyoko the other day. What's the matter? You look like you're cold. I could bring you a blanket if you need, but... But what? Oh, that was so sweet. I think this was right after she overheard him talking about killing the espers again. I realize that seeing you cry in agony in my arms, you are nothing but a young girl too, who struggles like any other girls out there. Being an esper doesn't make you any different. Does touching me calm you down? Then feel free to do it whenever you need. Oh my god, to hear him say that. <sighs> I am so embarrassed that you saw me so upset like this. But he looks so good there too. He looks so good in so many of his pictures. Uh, that was when she was thinking about killing him because it would be the only way to save all her friends. But he had just saved her, so... Well, you know, and she is bonded with him, you know, going to battle so many times. And we all know what was going on here. Now, I really wish that his body would have been a little bit more defined in this picture, but oh well. He looks so young there. I really wish his face was more, more chiseled looking. It's funny that Senri looks more cut in his uh, extra scene than Natsuiko does here. Oh, I love this scene too. It was just so cool, these two facing off, and I kind of wish there was a little bit more to this, but it was still a good enough scene. Just Ron looking so excited and happy to be in the heat of the moment. And Natsuiko, just the cool and calm guy looking down on the vermin that is Ron. <laughs> and this was when they were having a moment together before they uh, went off to get back into the swing of things. I can't see the look on your face from where I am, but I know you're blushing. I know I have to go. But when I'm with you like this, I feel totally calm. Maybe it's okay if we stay like this for a little longer. Have you forgotten that Ron and that pervert are here too? Well, I don't think Ron at least would come in, but Setsu would. This is when they were stargazing. Are you cold? I can warm you up if you get closer to me. You looked so lively when you were talking about the stars and the future. I wonder how many times we have looked at the stars like this together. And this was after Natsuiko had seen her <laughs> drawing of him. <laughs> and he was saying, <laughs> Does my face really, does this face feel like that? Do these eyes look like that? It was so funny. Oh. The impression of you I had back then and the real you are different. I am totally convinced of that now. I really gotta thank Ron for this. I didn't think I'd see a portrait you drew of me from the past. I just can't get enough of that innocent response of yours. 
I hope to see you like this more. And this was uh, his bad ending, where he was dead. It was horrible. But this is a beautiful, beautiful picture. Uh, this was Mikoto's dream. She didn't know who he was because she had Nanami erase her memories, but she dreamt about him anyway, even though she didn't know who he was. And this was the extra scene where she kept injuring herself while she was trying to cook for him, and uh, he kept coming in and leaving extra medicines for her. Here are Sakuya's. It was in the beginning, he was getting her away from Itsuki. He does look good in that picture, though. I like Sakuya when he looks serious. Just let me know if Itsuki is bothering you in any way again, okay? I was a nervous wreck when he suddenly pulled me in close. My heart was pounding so fast. I'm sorry, did that hurt? I was kind of rough when I pulled you close, so I was a little worried about that. And that was when he, uh tossed away the candies that Koharu had given her. Because uh, in one of his visions, they led to trouble. And this was right after she had been kidnapped and stored in the basement, and he had a vision that showed her where she was. I'm fine, so please don't worry about me, okay? When I saw you were unhurt, I realized I was able to protect you. It made me so happy. While I was bound, the only thing I could think about was you. And that was during their dream where she was, uh, she was Cinderella and he was Prince Charming. <laughs> you look so cute when you blush like that. Oh, I did not expect to hear you opening your heart up to me like that. The costume made it even worse for me. Is something the matter, princess? Are you asking for a kiss? Another scene during the dream sequence, although, uh, this was when she was seeing Itsuki as Sakuya. Yeah, and this was an Oh, Itsuki looks so cute there, with his hair down like that. I love that look. And you see Sakuya holding the glass slipper there. He wasn't supposed to see this, because Itsuki, he really wasn't trying to get Mikoto away from Sakuya. He really was trying to get those two together, but... It was just how things ended up where he ended up talking to her for some reason, and it was all coincidental, but he wasn't trying to steal her. But damn, Itsuki looks good like this. And this was after Sakuya had gotten injured protecting Mikoto, and she was supposed to change his bandages. No talking here either? I can't remember exactly what was going on here. Darn it. We may have been working together since the beginning, but this is the first time I feel like I've actually been able to face you. Going out when it is raining cats and dogs? You may want to cool your head, but you were being insane. You were even injured then. We're soaking wet in this rain, but instead I just feel warm. Is it because I'm with you? Is something wrong? If you have anything that you ever want to tell me, then I want you to say it to me. Take all the time that you need. You said you would live, to share a future with me. You have no idea how happy I was to hear you say those words. I'd like to show you what you mean to me through my lips, because mere words cannot possibly express my feelings. Now if he had actually said more things like that during his route, he would have been more interesting. And this was when Mikoto was using her barrier to protect them. This was in their ending when they found out they could be together. We have had to endure so many things, but maybe they are not all bad if those things are what made today possible. I love you. Every time I say it, I can feel my emotions starting to well up in my heart. I swear. I will never let go of this hand for the rest of my life. I love you. And this was Sakuya's bad ending where he died protecting her. And his extra. Alright, and I have to.
to insert a break in there because reading those little gallery things took longer than I expected again. So tune in tomorrow to see the rest of the pictures in the gallery and hear the text that goes with them. I hope to see you there or in some other future videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. De really signing out. Bye bye, everybody.